It is an ongoing battle, and it appears the Maroon family is not giving up on their hopes of building a second span next to the Ambassador Bridge. In tonight's Detroit 2020 report, Dave Llewellyn shows us how a deal reached with the mayor could help the Maroons and the city. Take a look. It's been the symbol of blight and decay in Detroit for decades, but the commitment to secure the Michigan Central Depot is a key aspect of the agreement. The windows at the Michigan Central Depot all 1,050 of them above the first floor will all be in place by December 31st of this year. That train station will be completely sealed in on the exterior side. Duggan detailed six points that constitute the agreement during a press conference at Riverside Park. The agreement follows months of discussions and negotiations with the Maroon family. Duggan's public support for a controversial second span for the Ambassador Bridge is part of the deal. The idea of a second span, I think, would strengthen Detroit's position as an international trade crossing uh, and as a logistics center, uh, and it would be a very positive thing. The agreement involves a land swap to give the Maroons the room they need for the second bridge span. The city is to trade three acres of land next to the bridge in exchange for a nearly five-acre parcel adjacent to Riverside Park to the west. The bridge company will also pay the city $3 million, which will be used for park improvements. This is a, a, an unusual deal for Detroit. We get everything that we ask for up front, and the developer is trusting us to back them at the end. My family's proud, I'm proud, and we look forward to doing our part of the agreement first and working with the city and their help for the part of the agreement that benefits us second. Community leader Jane Garcia is excited about an improved Riverside Park. We are so excited about this partnership. It's a marriage that's got to work. It's called keeping the promise and it will happen. I know it will. The bridge has been and remains a long-term proposition for the Maroons. The immediate benefit for the city is those windows and an improved and expanded Riverside Park. In Detroit, Dave Llewellyn, 7 Action News. Just